Are you looking for the best smart scale? I've got this one right here made by a company called EnvyFit and it's the Eros Love Your Body Smart Scale. Figured I would talk to you guys about it today because I've been using it for about two weeks to a month now. This is what the box looks like right there. And I wanna give you guys my uh, full on review of what I think about this thing. First of all, hi. Hide all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that I like, use, and have, and well, this company sends to me in the mail. So if you're interested in that, you might wanna consider clicking that subscribe button. So I've already done an unboxing video of this scale, and I've also done a, a setup video of the app for the scale and connecting it to it uh, so that they can work together to collect your data. And uh, I figured that I would go through my full on review of this product here. By the way, if you guys wanna check this thing out, I'll link it up down in the description below. Y'all can go read other people's reviews about it, not just take my word for it. Uh, I'm just one guy that wanted to share my opinion with you guys. So first of all, this thing, uh, calculates a whole bunch of different metrics based on uh, your weight, your height, and uh, the, they have these two, or I guess it's four, sensors right here that you stand on to get like water weight, um, you know, all, the, all those types of readings. But uh, it does like 11, 12, 13 different things right here, which is super cool. Body, water, skeletal muscle, muscle mass, bone mass, protein, basal metabolism rate, metabolic age, visceral fat, subcutaneous fat, uh, fat-free body weight, body fat, body mass index, and body weight. So. Uh, super easy to set up, first of all. That's the one thing that I really liked about this scale. Um, they have a little battery compartment in the back here, and it just takes a couple of uh, AAA batteries right there, three AAA batteries, and uh, those actually came with the scale, which is one thing that I really liked. Uh, another thing about the scale is that it does have the little feet on the bottom here. They do have little grippers on there too, which is nice so that it doesn't slide everywhere. But whenever you're taking your weight, you have to make sure that you are on a flat, hard surface or else you won't get a correct reading. In fact, if you watch the video, which I'll link up at the end of this video of me uh, showing you guys how to set up the iPhone app, I did it on carpet. And whenever I did it on the carpet, I got a totally wrong uh, weight for my uh, body. So make sure that you have this on a hard surface. We keep ours on a ceramic tile and it seems to work great there. It does have these uh, sensors here, like I was saying, to be able to get your body water and whatnot. So let's go ahead and take a measurement. I put it down on the ground there and the way that it turns on, super easy to do, you step on it. And once it connects, it feels everything there and it gives you your weight. You see that it's connected via Bluetooth right there. That's a little Bluetooth symbol. It's calibrating everything. You hear that noise and boom, that is brought right over there to the phone. So now we have all of our data saved into our phone. Now, one thing about this uh, scale that I was a little nervous about at first is that they were telling me that it doesn't uh, save like many days worth of data. So if you forget to sync it with your phone, it's only gonna save the most recent one. Uh, it doesn't have like a built-in memory thing to be able to save multiple days. But if you do wanna like take your weight in the morning and then go back later on, you can open up your app and then you'll get that day's download uh, if you want to uh, have at least one day's worth. It does have one day's worth of memory storage in here that it can uh, sync over to your phone, which is super cool. Um, so with this app, one thing that I really like about it, first of all, you can set your goals, your parameters, uh, what you're trying to achieve and all that type of stuff. But I really like the color codedness, if you will, of the app. So it's got, this is the weight that we just took. If it'll focus, there we go. And uh, it gives you kind of like where your baseline, how far you are from your goals right here. But what I really like whenever I was talking about color coding is this section right here. This is all those other metrics. And you can click on them right here, whatever that is. I can't really see. And it tells you if you're in a good range. Usually green means good range. Let's see, we'll go down to this one. Yeah, look, like this, Oop, this one right here. This is better. Uh, it tells you this one, if you're low, you're normal, or you're high. And that's a far, as far as muscle mass is concerned. And um, being that I am in this green area, it means that I am in the normal range right there, which I think is, uh, is it's cool to know. It's cool, easy to read. You can easily get an idea of where you're at just based on the colors right there, which is one thing that I really liked about the app. 
One thing that I had a little bit of trouble with, especially whenever I was first testing it out with my wife, I was like, oh, look at the scale we got in here. Let's take your measurements. And she measured herself and it got downloaded to the app. And I was like, okay, now I have to figure out how to delete something because I don't want to mix our weights because I hadn't set up her a profile yet. And so this weight that we just took, I don't want to keep because I just, uh, I, I took my weight with all my clothes on and I usually don't do it with all my clothes on uh, just so that I can have a more accurate reading of my body. And so I'm going to take you guys through uh, the steps of deleting because uh, like I said, it was a little, um, a little tedious, I guess. And I figure, I feel like it could be made a little bit easier. So first of Got to go into, is it my account? Nope, hang on. Uh, go into wait. Nope, got to click here. I always forget how to do it. I'm going to, this is, okay, so yeah, you go here. Is it that? 17 is today. Yeah, okay. Click that. This is the reading that it just took. So it's going to, if I click it, it's just going to take me back. If I swipe it, it's going to go through all the readings. So whenever I was first doing this, I was expecting to like swipe and click delete, but that's not there. I saw this select data thing up here and I was like, oh, it's grayed out. I can't really do anything with that. So uh, I was kind of confused, but actually, even though it's grayed out, it needs to be a little bit wider, but you can click that. And then once you click it, you can click this and a little check mark comes up right there. And once that check mark comes up right there, there's a little trash can down here, which you can... Uh, click to delete and then you can uh, confirm if you want to delete it. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one right there. And then that's how you delete something. It's just a little bit more uh, button pressing than I expected. And the main thing was that that words up here were grayed out and it was really hard for me to see. So that's one small, small little flaw that I didn't really like it. This chart though here is super cool. You can go through each individual uh, reading or measurement and uh, you can kind of see how they correlate with each other based on the graph. You see how the graph, um, a lot of them are, are kind of similar. And then you can see um, also whenever I get to like my protein, where's my protein? Right there. I like how, it, 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 you know, you can see how much uh, protein you got. I've been doing a little bit more working out and whatnot. So hopefully I'm gaining a little bit more of that uh, BMR. I don't know. I just, I really like the way that it's set up with the charts. I really like that little honeycomb feature so that I can easily see uh, all the different measurements. And I like how it is um, color coded as well. There is also a week, year, and month up here. So if you wanted to see it just by um, the week, the month, or the year, you can do that. Um, I've only been using this since, let's see. Oh, it's been a month actually to the day. Awesome. Uh, so all in all, super easy to use, super set, easy to set up, and I really like the interface of the uh, iPhone app, except or the phone app, except for how you go about deleting something. Now you can set up multiple users on this. In fact, you can have as many users as you want just by simply going into the My Account right here, and then you click um, the Add User right here, Add a Member, or Add a User, and you can uh, you can set that up. There's also a, a Settings panel here where you can like connect it to Google Fit or Apple Health or a Fitbit. Um, you can actually change the color of the app, which is too if you want something a little more fun, or if you like something darker because you're you know you reading it at night or something like that. Um, so I thought that that was cool that they let you kind of customize it a little bit. Of course, you can delete your account, change your language, legal stuff. You can change your weight to be pounds or kilograms. You can set your goals as well. Um, you know, if you your body fat goals and your weight goals uh, is usually what they, um, the two that you can control there. And then there's also the measurement sounds. If you don't want that sound whenever it was downloading to your phone, you can turn that on or off as well. Uh, really easily right there. Um, the last thing here on the phone is there's like a little products uh, tab and if you want to check out more of their products, they they have a whole bunch of products here and I believe they have some coupon codes for some of these if you want to take advantage, yeah, like this one right here has a coupon code. So if you want to take advantage of some of the coupons in there, uh, you can do that as well. 
Um, the construction of this scale is very nice. I really like it. It looks like a nice, thick, durable glass on top here. And then it's got the electrodes right here that are, they're brazed, I mean, like a couple of millimeters maybe off of the glass. And then the contacts are all in the back here to, you know, all the wiring and whatnot to be able to make uh, the wires go through. And then you have, like I mentioned, uh, the rubber feet, um, on the uh, on the bottom here so that it doesn't slide as much because you need to have this done on a hard surface whenever you take your weight in fact if you go back and watch the video where I did the app setup on the phone I took my weight on carpet because I was one I was kind of curious to see what would happen if I did that because I read that you needed to do it on a hard surface and it totally got the weight wrong so make sure if you're going in to buy one of these and most of the smart scales you have to get it onto a uh, hard surface or it won't take it correctly so if you guys want to see that video of me setting up the app and testing out my weight on carpet, I'm going to link that up right there. Y'all go and click that video. I'll see y'all in that video. Thank you, dads, for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated. If you guys want to check this thing out, it's linked up down in the description below. Y'all can go read other people's reviews about it. And dad out.